Dorcas found a new way to share her love for Jesus in a small village in the jungle of Papua New Guinea. She began copying Bible verses on pieces of paper to share with her two best friends, who then agreed to memorize the verses. Soon, more children began to join them, and the group quickly grew. As the group continued to grow, Dorcas's mother suggested they meet in the evening at their house, so more children could come. The group eventually grew to over 40 children, and some of their parents also began attending. Dorcas even invited her friends to the Adventist church on Sabbath, and many children and parents joined them. In time, several children and parents gave their hearts to Jesus and joined the little Adventist church. The church outgrew its small building and began meeting under a tarp until they could build a bigger church. One sunny Sabbath, the church members gathered at the river where Dorcas was baptized. It was a memorable day for Dorcas, her family, and the entire church. Although Dorcas is now attending an Adventist boarding school far from her home, she continues to share her faith with others. Her family also shares their faith in their village by the river. Sharing our faith with those around us is the best way to grow our local church and build our own faith. But when we return our tithe and distribute our promise offering, as suggested by the combined offering plan, we also share our faith with those far from us, some of whom we will only know in heaven. By bringing our resources together, we can help build up God's kingdom in large cities and tiny villages like Dorcas grew up in. May we put our desires last and God first.